I guarantee no one is no one is talking about this. That no, not on YouTube, not on any uh, Facebook group or any kind of twin flame group is anyone talking about this. You're gonna want to create a fake profile. Obviously, like uh, somebody pretty attractive, you know, in order to to attract your twin flame, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to put like Jabba the Hut in the profile picture, and uh, they probably won't respond to that. So, you know, get somebody attractive. That's step one. You're gonna want to like steal as many of their pictures as you can because you don't want like um, I don't know pictures that maybe aren't that person and they're gonna start questioning like whether or not this whole thing is real actually you know what I would I would probably create like fake parents and you know a few friends maybe get like uh, some animals in, in the picture there if, if that's possible uh, Maybe you're good at Photoshop. That 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 might be the ticket. Learn Photoshop. Okay. So so far, fake profiles for all of you know, all your family, all the family and friends. Photoshop things in there. This is it has to seem like legitimate, right? So then, obviously, you're gonna want to like. You know, follow your twin flame on on all of their social media, right? And and then you know, send them messages like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, whatever. You know, it's I guess maybe maybe some innuendo might be good, or some some something that would you know get their get their heart pumping a little bit. Be like, see this, you know, dreamy person. Uh, just like kind of messaging them out of the blue, you know, what, what's this all about? And the, the, the best part about it, this whole thing is, you know, they don't know it's you and you know, like pretty much everything about them. You know, you know, like they're your twin flame. So, you know, like what don't you know about them? That's so the ticket here is you're able to like really sell this because you know you already know what they like you already know what they don't like uh you know you already know their temperament and and all this great stuff like this is this is like a lock this is what what we call in the betting world a lock like what what could possibly go wrong here right all right so the next step is you know i don't know if you're familiar with that that MTV show, like Catfish, you could you could maybe get on that show. So you're really like, I don't know, you might be able to like kill, you know, two birds with one stone here. You get your twin flame and you become famous in the process. There's, there's, this is like green lit all the way down. When do you ever have like every single traffic light is green? Well, this is... This is a sure thing. So now what you want to do is, you know, really sell this. You know, you you got all this stuff, you have all this ammunition, and you ham it up, and you get them to fall in love with you. And it, like in the meantime of of this whole thing going on, you know, nothing is in your mind saying, "Wow, that you know." I've got my twin flame to fall in love with me. This is great. However, it's not going to be that big of a deal when they realize that it's not the person they've been talking to and it's me. Like that'll they'll probably just let that slide, right? Because I mean, if you think about it, if we're supposed to be together and and we're made for each other then then like if it winds up that you know when when it's when the big reveal happens that I'm I'm the catfish and you know the person that they were talking to this whole time uh, was just a fake it's not going to be that big of a it's like probably going to be in their eyes better 
then that it's me and not this other person because like I'm the one anyway. Right? So, so far, I mean, I really don't see anything, anything that, anything bad that could possibly happen in this scenario. So, you know, that, oh, I think what they do in Catfish then, after, you know, talking to the, the person for, you know, a long period of time is like, they, they do like that fake me, fake out meeting. So you're going to want to set a meeting and, you know, not show up or, and then, uh, disappear for like a few weeks or something like that. Like really sink that hook in and, you know, yank on it a little bit because, you know, you don't want them to get away and you, you're, you're spending a whole lot of time and your creative juices to make this whole thing happen and, and make it seem legit. So, you know, you're not going to want to like just do some lame brain thing. And after, you know, a month or two of messaging them and making them fall in love with you. And then, you know, you say, Hey, let's meet here and then show up and it's you. And it's like, you know, what did that's like deflating, you know, you got to really like build this thing up, uh, to choose this grand display. That's what you want is a grand display. You don't want it to like really, you don't want it to fall flat. Um, and then, you know, this whole time it's going to be great for you. Like think about all the things that you're like working out while this is happening, like inside of you, you know, you're being deceitful and you are, you know, totally like lying to the person that you love the most or, you know, that you're saying that you love the most for. And on top of all that, they are in love with someone else, but it's your fault. Like that is... You know, that's, that's where dreams come true right there. So honestly, if you're going to do this whole thing, like you're, you're like literally cleansing yourself of like so, so much spiritual baggage by running through this, uh, you know, all the time, like messaging them on different social media platforms and stalking them, stalking them out to see what they're doing and how they're living their life and, you know, who they're hanging out with and, uh, and totally, you know, driving a wedge into their life, thinking that they found somebody that is you, but it's not you. It's somebody fake that you created but because you're behind it, they think you're you're the you're the one. They're the one. You're the one for them. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. So like, doesn't that? What about that? Seems like a good idea. That you're putting so much effort, so much time. And so much focus into what what your twin flame is doing. That's all you think about. That's all you're focusing on is your twin flame. Is it getting you anywhere? No, it isn't. Focus on yourself. You're wasting all that effort on something that isn't getting you anywhere when how 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 easy how much easier would it be just to do your inner work and then get what get your twin flame after you after you healed yourself what do you think is easier what you're doing all this focus on nonsense or focus on yourself and love yourself get your twin flame case closed live happily ever after isn't isn't that what you want Change your focus, change your attitude, start doing things right, start loving yourself. All right? 
I will see you next time and have a great day.